JRay 501. I'm in Informable Nuclear News, and this is an article written by Lucas W. Hickson on January 23rd, 2013. This is in regards to songs or San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station in San Clemente, Southern California. The ongoing issues there have been nothing short of alarming. Uh, especially how Southern California, the owners, have uh, dealt with this. Hence my, my new logo up here. And also, my version of splitting Eve's atoms. Aga, 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 aga. San Diego School District calls for the NRC to conduct a adjudicatory license amendment hearing process at San Onofre. The Board of Education of the San Diego Unified School District has passed a resolution Tuesday night which calls for the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission to conduct an adjudicatory license amendment hearing process on the proposed restart to San Onofre's defective Unit 2 nuclear reactor. The school district is concerned as they are potentially directly responsible for the children for evacuations, sheltering in place, and for necessary supplies and accommodations in the event of a nuclear accident. Kevin Beezer, a school board member, said if the nuclear power plant is restarted without going through a thorough safety vetting process, then it could potentially have an impact on the safety of our kids in San Diego Unified and surrounding communities. The San Diego Unified School District is the latest of eight local councils in Los Angeles, Orange County, San Diego County who have passed resolutions or sent letters to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and the State Public Utilities Commission. Now why would it have to get this far? There have been an unbelievable amount of people that are experts in this field that are willing to testify, that are willing to give their information freely and at every NRC meeting with SoCal Edison they either get shot down and not even allowed to speak or they're treated like like they're idiots and they don't know what they're talking about. So now, these there are some very hard-working activists in Southern California that are trying to pull in schools and anybody that they can to help fight this war, which is utter, utter lunacy to even think that they want to restart this this nuclear reactor and then just see how it goes and go back and check it in like five months it is it is absolutely ludicrous hence my artwork okay so I want to go in hey, I lost my artwork this is the letter from the Board of Education, San Diego Unified School District, San Diego, California, and I applaud them. Whereas the Board of Education of the San Diego Unified School District believes restarting the defective Unit 2 nuclear reactor at San Onofre will have profound impacts on our children in San Diego and the surrounding communities in the event of a nuclear accident regarding radiation contamination of air, water, and food, evacuation plans, and long-term viability of life in Southern California. And whereas Southern California Edison for replacement steam generators manufactured by Mitsubishi for the two nuclear reactors at the San Onofre site were shut down after one of their tubes failed and released radiation in January 2012 after less than two years of operation while the original equipment operated for 28 years 
and whereas Edison informed the Nuclear Regulatory Commission that the replacement steam generators would be like for like or in kind, that is, fabricated to the same design specifications as the original San Onofre combustion engineering steam generators. But in fact, the replacement generators have significant changes from the original steam generators. And whereas the NRC has reported that design flaws and erroneous model calculations have led to the malfunction of the new steam generators. And whereas the replacement steam generators in San Onofre Unit 2 and 3 are identical and are both showing excessive early tube wear that the NRC confirms poses a serious safety problem. And whereas a thorough NRC licensing amendment process would have provided greater opportunity to bring attention to the replacement steam generator design problems, thus increasing the likelihood of preventing use of the faulty designs and the ultimate shutdown of the San Onofre nuclear facility. So what San Onofre did here was they basically, to get around the licensing amendment, because they knew that that would trigger some red flags as to what they were really doing, which was putting, you know, inferior products to save money. And they called it, they called it something else so that they could get around this licensing process. Basically just lying through their teeth. Whereas failing again now to subject the replacement steam generators at San Onofre to the rigorous and transparent review of the NRC licensing amendment process risks repeating dangerous errors. And whereas the consequences of regulators inadequately ensuring nuclear reactor safety are potentially severe. That's their job. And they're not on our side. Maybe it should be the, instead of the nuclear regulatory, it should be the NNRC, not Nuclear Regulatory Commission. A decision filed on December 15, 2005, the California Public Utilities Commission allocated $680 million to be paid by the ratepayers, taxpayers, for four replacement steam generators manufactured by Mitsubishi at Southern California Edison's San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station, and $569 million for replacement steam generator installation, and $111 million for removal disposal of the original steam generators. With a reasonableness review required for expenses Beyond this amount and a maximum rate payer collection cap of $782 million. Like California isn't already broke and screwed from the housing industry. Whereas rate payers are at risk of paying not only for the crippled replacement steam generators, but also potentially for costs associated with the outage and with the equipment repair or the replacement. Whereas, the Division of Ratepayer Advocates reports that customers of Edison and 20% owner San Diego Gas and Electric are paying about $54 million a month for operating and maintenance costs of the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station while the facility is not producing any power and recommends removing the San Onofre facility from rates to prevent this from continuing, which they will have to pay this. And this was the other backsided, you know, shove it up our ass, which is because they want to make sure that they don't pay that, that we get stuck with $54 million per month. And, and there are loopholes in order to make us do that. I'm sorry, I'm butchering. I'm butchering this, I'm sorry. 
Whereas an order instituting investigation was issued by the CPUC on November 1st, 2012 to determine in a transparent public process which parties are responsible for paying the costs associated with the faulty replacement generators, including the costs incurred during the shutdown and the cost of any repairs. Whereas it is therefore critical to, re to create and implement strong contingency plans for alternate power sources to San, San Onofre, especially those deriving from conservation energy efficiency and renewable resources, per the state of California's loading order, state mandated targets, and Governor Brown's clean energy plan. Let me just say that since this happened and they reopened the plant in Huntington Beach, which was on the chopping block uh, to be rebuilt, to be decommissioned and rebuilt, they had two others that they were waiting to start building. They brought that thing out of mothballs. And we, during the hottest summer that I can remember here in Southern California, had not one blackout, not a brownout, not a rolling blackout, nothing. We never had not one problem. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Education of the San Diego Unified School District urges the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission to do their fucking job to require that Edison undergo a public, transparent license amendment hearing regarding the replacement steam generators before the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station is allowed to restart and murder 8 million people. Okay, I have to stop now. Sorry that I got so heated. But this is, you know, this just can't continue. This is, this just cannot continue. As always, God bless.